we have with us here uh, Thierry Birio, mm -hmm. um, who is the president of the ADR Institute of Canada. So thank you for joining us today. Well, thank you to both of you. I'm very happy to be here at the 2018 ADR BC Symposium. And uh, it's been a great day so far, and I'm really enjoying it. Welcome. Wonderful. So we had a couple of, of questions that we had that you've traveled all the way mm. here from Quebec. Mm -hmm. And so sort of the first thing that I thought would be really interesting to ask is, what's the difference that you see in the ADR landscape between Quebec and BC? Well, uh, if we're speaking around the landscape in terms of the practice of mediation here in, in BC or ADR or arbitration, I don't see much difference. I, I would say that uh, it's uh, true for between Quebec and BC. It's true all across the country, and it's true as well worldwide. I mean, I'm I'm teaching and traveling a lot on uh, official functions for uh, to represent Adric for uh, in ADR symposium and conferences, and we don't see that much difference. There is sometimes cultural differences in, in how do you approach mediation, but structurally, it's the same thing. However, the market, as we call it, is different in BC than in Quebec. I would say that in Quebec, the market is more, much more mature in family law, much more mature in labor law, but uh, here in BC, uh, you're more advanced, for example, in ODR system, online dispute resolution systems, and, and some commercial, the commercial side of uh, mediation and arbitration is, is stronger here in BC. But these are differences in the market, the way we do things. Also, in terms of uh, the associative uh, bodies, uh, the association representing mediators and arbitrator, uh, in Quebec it's a more unified uh, system where you've, you've got basically one institute representing mediators and arbitrators. You have a family law mediators association that takes care of the family side of it, but that's about it. Here in BC, you would see uh, more or, uh, uh, organization doing it. it. It divides a bit more the, the market, uh, which is good for creativity, but it can create problems in terms of the development of the profession. Hmm. Well, I guess on, on that front, partly because we have you here representing the national body, mm -hmm. I'm curious, can you talk a little bit about um, what the relationship is between the provincial affiliates yeah. and the national body as well. Yes, one of the main differences is that ADRIC is, a, as, you, as you mentioned, it's a national organization. So um, ADRIC is, is now, the reality of ADRIC is now, it's a federation of institutes across the country. And um, we truly believe that national issues should be brought to the national organization. However, the, what we call the development of mediation, arbitration, and ADR in the field should, should lay with the regional institute. I think that it's, it's for the mediators, arbitrators of BC to work in their own market, in their own reality, with the legislative environment, to make sure that they do develop their practice in a way that is relevant to the citizens of BC. So most of the, the, the work in the different fields of practice would be done by institutes like the ADRBC Institute. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. So that's, that's the main difference. We, 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 we have an internal uh, mechanism where we, we communicate, we exchange on positions, on, on representation to the governments, mm -hmm. but mainly uh, there is great autonomy to be taken by the, the regional affiliates, and we, we believe that it should stay that way. It's, it's the most efficient way of doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, the, the field of ADR is growing across Canada, and, and um, we, we didn't have, uh, per se, a national program at the uh, at ADRIC level, but we are entering into that phase where probably we can pool resources all across the country on some of uh, the initiatives that can be duplicated in each of the provinces. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing that is quite interesting developing is that um, basically up to five years ago, you would have uh, Alberta and uh, Ontario who had executive directors leading the organization on the operational yeah. level. That has developed interestingly in the last few years. Quebec has now have their executive director and BC, just with the Bob Springer, just yeah. nominated uh, uh, its new ED. So now we're going, we're going to see that, capacitating the organization on a regional level to do a uh, further work, uh, mm -hmm. to get leadership on the operation level. 
because as you know, we are all, uh, we are non-for-profit and we're all bene benevolent practitioners, putting a lot of hours in those organizations. But at some point, if you want to further the mission and develop ADR, you need those people, staff at the operation level to lead that. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's a little bit of thumping that got happening <laughs> over there. <laughs> so I think maybe one of mm -hmm. the kind of, we'll just maybe one more question yeah. and then we'll let you go back to your very busy day. Yeah. Um, if you're looking across Canada at mm -hmm. the different initiatives being done in different mm -hmm. organizations, mm -hmm. what's really exciting right that, now that's out there? I think what's ex really exciting is that we're, we're now getting to a point where we, we, get, we got past the uh, the legal system and the court systems and we're now penetrating more and more in in a, uh, in a deep manner all the the different uh, um, uh, segment of the population so uh, it's been very as i said before it's been very active in the family side for many many years as you know but now we're in organization and all of those professions that before wouldn't look at us you know lawyers would look at us to help to ask us to help their right. clients yeah. but now we have the clients coming directly to us to set up mediation systems roasters so we're, we're seeing that more and more uh, often and the other thing that uh, we've noticed is that um, there is a fundamental shift in the way we see justice in the Canadian society now and and justice used to be seen as defined by the ju judicial system as now we're seeing justice is in its formal is premier uh, meaning that process that will help people solve their problem be it before the courts in mediation and arbitration and this is a shift that's been happening on the individual level in our society but now you see that the governments are picking picking it up and try, uh, start reflecting on that and, and, and we try to, to we, we're, we're beginning to see policy that is partly modeled on that new, that new definition of justice. And this is where I think there's a big, big change. And um, uh, more that we're going to see that, more that the message will be spread by all, all, all the different level of, of the society, the more we're going to benefit to uh, the population of this country. Thank you so much for yeah. taking this time to chat with us. Yeah, really appreciate and, it. And congratulations for that podcast. I think it's an excellent idea. <laughs> <laughs>